How to start a car when all attempts of programming a key or programming a mobilizer or body control module to a vehicle and it still won't start. And in this video, I will show you how in a Subaru we do MO delete. As a last resort is the cheapest resort if you had a locksmith or a dealer try to program a key and they can't figure out what's causing the intermittent problem of key starting a car one day, another day, it doesn't want to start. Now, if you see my other video, we had a Subaru ECU, we did an emo delete, similar issue, and we read that ECU with the hex probe. That was a 13 and newer ECU in a plastic box, and it was, I believe, the 7 751 I believe processor SH751 now this processor right here is a HC7058 so this processor I will show you how we read it with a Breedus interface and of course the PCM flash uh, software and of course I have my breakout box connected according to the pinout and we are gonna read this file delete it with sweat it and then write it back to the car and this guy can start this car with an aftermarket key or whatever the issue was causing it not to start it will start and start constantly now first things first we go to my pinout i'm using the pcm flash if you can see this is pcm flash pinout and we did exactly what they told us. We did the pinout using Go Diag interface or distribution box. And of course, we identified this is the 7058 processor. So we're going to read it with the PCM because Hex Pro cannot read it. And it's a plastic box ECU with 7058. And we're going to go to my PCM flash and then if you can see first let me actually turn ignition on on my box and boom you can see the VIN number everything so it read everything all the files so what we're gonna do we're gonna read the flash and of course we got our ignition on and it's gonna read it's gonna prep the software to read this ECU and of course it's going to read it so it takes a while to read a flash I will have it read and in my previous Subaru video where I read the 2013 and newer Subaru ECU with a hex probe a lot of you guys were asking about the pro uh, program that I'm using it's sped it and it's Russian I can't get a hold of them uh, if for two Subarus, the 7058 and 7531, I believe, processor, that software with the dongle will run you a thousand bucks. If you do need the help with uh, getting the ammo off, you already have the tools to read it, shoot me an email. Uh, you can find it in my bio on YouTube, and maybe we can work something out. Otherwise, you got to wait till the war is over, I guess. All right, it's finishing up the read of the processor, and we're going to save it. As soon as it's done, all right, it's done. Shut up my ignition. I'll click OK. I will save this as Subaru, and then I'll say MO on. And this is 7058 MPU. Now I'll go to my Svetit. Check some are okay. Great. Now what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna open up my Svetit. you can see right here now i have the subaru and then like i told you this is the 72531 processor amo but we identified our processor is 7058 this is the older processor just these two for ammo off it's going to be a thousand bucks so right here i'll open it up and then i'll put subaru aim on this is the processor boom it's gonna show you right here right away that checksum not checksum but 
right here. I immobilize on in the firmware. So it's in the software that immobilizer is on. We'll click OK. Now we'll go, go emo off. Firmware changed. So emo is not off. And then I'll click save this file. And then I'll just go Subaru emo off. Boom. So ammo is off. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to my PCM flasher and then I'll find Subaru ammo off file right here. I'll open it up and then of course I'm going to power my ignition and we're going to hit right. So while it's checksum are correct, the good thing about this software it corrects the checksum every time you read it and write it yes the power is on and it's going to prep the software with our ecu to get the right going for us and it's going to erase just the places where it's going to overwrite the mo off file so if you can see it's going to erase for a couple, a couple seconds and then it's going to write now writing it most of the time it's quicker because it's only gonna write the bytes that we change the ammo off file in so most of the time now it looks like this one right here takes gonna take a while to do that because if you've seen my other video the hex pro just did the locations where it needed to write and have written in but this one is gonna write the whole file all right well thanks for watching uh, like my video, share. If you do need the service, link below. Watch my other video on Emo Delete.